Well, hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to my birthday special LP of Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for the Super Nintendo with commentary, of course. So anyway, last time we uh, left off here at the sunken ship. Now, okay, well, let's view our stats. As you can see, they're pretty much shit, right? So, uh, Mario's at level 13. Needs to be level 16. And, uh, so, anyway, this is actually why I did. Uh, actually behind the camera. So. Ah, that's better. <laughs> yes, I went ahead and did some level grinding. And, uh. I went ahead and leveled Mario up to level 16, which I think you need to be at least level 14, 15 to be able to do this area efficiently. Um, you can come here at level 12 and 13. It's a I played through it a little bit. It's a little tough, but it's really not bad. So, oh by the way, the party that you want. Uh, let's see. Who I did last time, but where do Mario, Bowser, and Mallow for um, uh, for this, and then for the boss battle, we're gonna uh, throw in Toadstool because uh, she uh, has healing capabilities. So, oh, anyway, oh, that reminds me. Um, so anyway, uh, when I did some leveling up, it did do. Some, I did get some new abilities. Um, the new one's called Ultra Jump. And what, uh, uh, pretty much what this, uh, this means is Ultra Jump. The difference between Super Jump and Ultra Jump is Ultra Jump, you can actually hit multiple enemies with Ultra Jump. So you can start with one, but it's all random. So you might not, you might hit a few, you might fit all, hit all of them, but that's pretty much what it means. Uh, Bowser gets a new ability. Uh, he, uh, this one is Poison Gas. Now, it's another one of those ones where you have to use a D-pad. Now, this is probably my most favorite, my most favorite weapon that Bowser has. Because it's actually, it's Poison Weapon, so, um, it's, you know, certain enemies are vulnerable to it, but, uh, the stronger it gets, the more devastating it can be, and it can affect all parties. So, that's, that's, that's a sweet weapon to have. Now, Mallow, as you can see, uh, you know, Shocker, he's got a new ability called Snowy. Now, um, what Snowy does is that actually he uh, summons this huge, uh, huge blizzard and it turns into a snowman and crushes enemies. And he actually can do some devastating attacks to fire based enemies. So, you know, um, Look out for that. So, anyway, but uh, I thought I might show that stuff to you. Um, oh yeah, Princess Toadstool. She, uh, yeah, Princess Toadstool got a uh, new special attack. It's called Come Back, which means it's the same thing as a pick me up, except it only refills uh, only half of your health. So. It can be somewhat useful, but I still get what well, get pick me up just in case Princess Toaster falls. Then um, Gino has a new ability called Gino Blast. Now that one where he he uh, well, it's one of those power up women you do with uh, if you press Y and hold it, and then he just shoots a whole bunch of uh, laser beams down on uh, on enemies and stuff. It's a uh, it's an alright weapon. It looks it looks powerful, but it really is not at first. But uh Yeah, a little disappointed. But anyway, so I've already been through here, but I thought I might do um Okay, as you can see, Mallow's Thunderbolt is devastating. Um, 
is uh, devastating through the sunken ship. So uh, that's he definitely you definitely want him want metal in your party on the sunken ship because his thunderbolt de devastates all the dry bones and all the ghost and all that. So it's something that I strongly suggest that y'all do if you play this game now. Um, so anyway, we're just gonna just gonna go through this uh, first part of the game. First part of the second ship, because it, it's actually it's a pretty long that pretty large level, so. See, it just kills them. I mean, there's so fucking weight to it, it's not funny. Anyway, so, Peach gets leveled up again, so. Ooh, yes. With her, I'm, I focus mainly on her magic ability. Her attack, really, eh. And don't worry, I will show off all the abilities. So, so, uh, so don't worry about it. I will, I will show all of them off. There's, there's only, there's only, um, and I don't know those guys. Um, I'll find those guys. Okay, a little note: the Gorgons. Um, these actually have a pretty devastating attack on Diamond Saw, where it's something saws that kind of, that kind of, you know, slices through you, so it's actually a pretty devastating attack. It's actually pretty strong, so I recommend get, uh, removing him first before, if you, uh, get, if you, uh, have him in any of the random, uh, battles. I wouldn't say random, but I would say, any of the battles here the same shit. Very strong, yeah, very strange kind of enemy, if you ask me. But yeah, I'm just gonna file these alley rats, so. Lightning Orm, you see right there, it really is not that effective. Death Sickle uh, actually imposes fear on your allies. So make sure that you have, either have Able Juice or your Princess Toadstool's therapy to get rid of it. So anyway. Uh, I really don't want to show you that off right now. Um, so... Doesn't hurt the alley rats as much, but uh, because they have around 200 HP, so it's kind of hard to get rid of them. But go ahead and clear all these all these people out. Oh, now here's a here's a troublesome part in here. Two gorgons and an alley rat. No, the alley rats don't be a problem. So gorgons, I'm bored. You see, here it is. See, you know, and, and Mel has some pretty strong magic defense. It still does 11 damage to him, so you can, you can kind of understand from there that, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of kind of devastating. Anyway, I want to show you all my, one of my favorite powers that he has. I love that power. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> so, anyway, I just, I just wanted to show it off. It's not really, not really that useful right now. It's just kind of sad because it's a, it's a really awesome idea. Um, 
it's too bad, because it's, it's actually really... I'm fucking too bad. Wow, Mal getting a once again. That's... That's something to say. And what I miss is... Uh, it's not as effective. It's actually weaker than, uh... That's right, it's, it's uh... It's weaker than the diamond saw. Diamond saw fucking hurts. <laughs> so... Yeah. I think that's all of them. And there's a treasure box up there which I already got. It only had coins in it, so... Anyway, this area I already cleared out. Uh, it just had some of those uh, go, those ghostly looking figures on them. So they're already gone. I already took care of them. But anyway, these are the different trials you can do. So anyway, I already know the password. Uh, it's Pearls. P-E-A-R uh, L-I-S. So. Oh, I don't know this. It's actually kind of tricky to do. There we go. See, all these trials really don't take very long. Just... Oh, this one's cool. I like this one. figure that one out it's actually a little bit it's a little bit difficult but anyway you go over here and you can actually fight um see the dry bones right there you actually uh it's a good place to level up if you want to now that bot treasure box was some coins so anyway you can this guy actually can uh sell you uh, sell you some stuff if you want anything uh, i'm probably gonna Anyway, I'm gonna really need the. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff looks pretty good. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Cause. I just can't do that with the freaking keyboard.
Damn it. Oh, I hate that last part. See if you do it too early, it won't it won't do anything. I'm not sure. I don't think you'll get anything good after just getting a whole bunch of coins, that's all. Ah oh, So a bitch, come on. This one's not that hard. And just I remember y'all that I'm having doing this with a keyboard. My Keyboard skills are not great, so. You know what? Fuck it, you know? You just, just, just do it the way it is, you don't get a hint. Cause I'm, I'm really tired of that one. That, that's crap, I... I'm usually pretty good at that. I mean, all right. Oh, come on. See, this is why I hate doing it. Um, okay. Thank you. No. Oh. You know, no, you know what? Let's let's do this. <laughs> I've this one pisses me off. So you know, because normally I can do well with the controller. Don't get me wrong. It's just there we go. See, wasn't that hard, was it? I was making it look harder than it really fucking is. Anyway, this one's actually pretty easy, so check this out. So you space the opposite way and it'll roll that, that, that particular way. So. All right. Here's what is. God damn it. <laughs> See, this... Uh, that one was right. All right. Well, this is this is the, actually our next boss, which we're gonna go ahead and do. But I need to switch. Uh, uh, no, no, I want now actually. Mm. Yeah, that that's good. Anyway, you'll um, you'll face uh, two sets of tentacles. I'm a thunderbolt will actually hurt them. So I guess not. Shocker will. Yeah, that's pretty.
pretty good. So yeah, as you can see, yeah, they don't do that much damage, but I still think it's pretty, uh, What I do is I take the tentacles out first, because they're because they're gonna be a problem. See he's just mouth thunderbolt. So. Now this is what therapy does. It would cure, cures any status alien, so it's a very helpful. As you can see, the drain beam is not really that effective with him. And there you have it. So. So anyway, there. Anyway, whoa. Okay. Check this out. <laughs> Actually, if you use uh, Mario's jump abilities or Mallow's uh, lightning attacks, you can easily um, get rid of them pretty quick. But anyway, um, Anyway, now he's destroyed. So you just go bow back to here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, next time we will do the second part of the second ship and continue on our little adventure. Till next time, see you guys later.